Oh, okay. Hi! Hey there, my name's Kristen. I'm with Action News Jax. We got a police report uh, for this area saying that a rooster was beaten. And um, are you James Nix? Yes, ma'am. Would you be willing to talk about kind of what happened? Sure. Okay. I mean, this guy's harassing me. Mm hmm The chicken is. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get everything for this kid. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm glad. Glad to meet y'all. I mean, this is like wow. How did you get the report, ma'am? Uh, we get certain reports sent to us when things happen. Okay. This is my dad's leg. We lived out here since 1974. I moved out here five year, five, about five years old. I know every river's got two banks. He's got his side of the story. I don't really care what he's told y'all. This chick, he's got this chicken. It's like a pet. Just like you've got a dog. All right, if your dog is aggressive, and I feel like everybody that's watching this should know that if you have an animal that's an aggressive animal, you need to keep it contained. So when we go to the mailbox here, these are my parents, I made their yard bigger, and I go to the mailbox with my dad a couple months ago, and uh, we, nothing, you don't, you don't see anything, you know, you just go check the mail like you normally do. Turn around and walk with my dad, talk with my dad, and the chicken comes and hits him in the back of the leg. Cut, cuts him, cuts him, cu I mean, cuts through the jeans and, po and makes, this is a couple weeks after. It's already healed, but it, it hit him right here in the leg, cut through the jeans, his leg was bleeding, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, and, 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 and the, the kids that used to live over there, they were throwing rocks and sticks at this chicken to keep it away. The man that lives across the street, his uh, grandson come running in the door saying, Grandpappy, the chicken's after me. You know, so every time, I, I think, I think the, ch the chicken was a fighting chicken. I'm not sure if the guy's fighting this chicken because he's upset about his chicken getting killed. But, but, um, and my, my granddaughter's out here, you know, playing in the yard. And my mom had to defend, my dad keep the stick out there just to keep the chicken away. So... I go to my mailbox one morning. I don't see nothing. I just check my mail. And I turn around and go. And I hear. And I turn around and there's the chicken out there in the street. I said, oh boy, here we go. Turn around, walk back to my place. Now the chicken's in my yard. Now his neck flares up and he's doing his thing and he's trying to jump up at me. Well, I'm not 80 years old. So I move a little bit quicker than my dad which he come and kind of ambushed my dad, assaulted, whatever you want to call it. So I pick up a stick in the yard and, and I try to hit it, but the chicken's jumping up at me and I accidentally knocked it in the head. You know, call it a lucky shot, whatever. The chicken rolled around on the ground right there in my yard up here. And then it, and then it just laid down the ditch. I, I didn't want to give, I didn't know to give it a 21 gun salute, CPR, mouth to mouth. You know, or call the chicken ambulance. So, th so I just left it laying there beside the road. The kids told him that I killed his chicken. He grabbed the chicken, was yelling and screaming in my yard. And uh, I just told him leave. But I did tell him after the chicken hit my dad, I said, hey man, the chicken attacked my dad. Oh, what's the deal? It's just a chicken. What's he gonna do? You know, okay, well, look. So it kept terrorizing. And, and being aggressive. So I, f I figure I, I, this is my property. I got a right to print life, property, and limb, just like you do. If a man comes attack you and you know Kung Fu, you're gonna hi ya him, right? Okay, simple as that. So I'm defending myself. You know, I was feared for my safety and the chicken, you know, uh, d died. Chickens are dying every day, people, at churches, Popeyes, and Kentucky Fried Chicken, really. And next thing you know, he calls the chicken police on me and they put a tag on my, my mailbox on Memorial Day. So I called the lady up and I told her what happened. She says, well, I'm gonna, 
press charges on you uh, for cruelty to animals and and write you a citation you know so I got a hold of my lawyer and uh, you know I went to jail they come arrested me last Thursday they were here when I got off of work and took and, and hauled me to jail for for, for 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 trying to protect myself how so, long were you in jail 30 30 hours and what was that like <laughs> there's there's no really no drinking water in there to give you food but there's really no water there's you know I mean not everybody that goes to jail is guilty or supposed to be there you know you know I, I'm just a regular regular hard-working man just trying to you know give my peace the sad part is we bring this guy food on holidays because we kind of feel sorry for him because you know we know he's from out of town so on holidays we'll bring him a barbecue dinner because he ain't around his family but for him to turn on me and, and call, you know, he ain't been here for a couple of years, but to him to call the, 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 the police and cause me a bunch of heartache and grief is not fair. It's not really, it's not fair to me. And, 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 and he was told that his chicken is aggressive and he didn't want to do anything about it. So what else am I going to do? You know, defend myself. And so I went to court and now I got, I got court dates and and you know, being arrested and it's embarrassing. My parents have been married for 62 years this September 30th, and for them to watch me get arrested is just sad. I mean, I don't know really know what else to say. I mean, you don't have to be sorry. Be sorry for him because the rotten fruit falls off the tree eventually. Anything else that you want to add about it? I mean, if you want to ask, you can ask me what you want. I just, basically, that's that's my testimony. He's given his testimony. My parents are giving the testimony. I've given my testimony. I just I, I just don't see how I'm, I'm cruel to animal. I mean, I can tell when an animal's dead, just like anybody else, it died. It died right there. I mean, it, chickens run around a little bit like crazy and then just laid there. It didn't flutter. It didn't do nothing. It didn't move. It was limp. Um, I will... I just one question. Um, it said a steel pipe. Was it a metal pipe or was it a steel pipe? No, stick out of the yard here. See, that's how stories get exaggerated. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> I picked up a stick out of my yard. You can see there's all kinds of sticks and limbs laying around. And there's one mm -hmm. right there. So, I mean, you know, I just picked it up and knocked it in, knocked it, up, tried to hit it in the tail, but it was hopping and trying to spur me. And just like it spurred my dad, and I, I hit it. I didn't mean to kill it, but it just, that's the way it happened. All right. I think that's all we have for you. Thank you so much for talking to us. Oh,